good day, and thank you for watching the ACS Library. My name is Kyle, and I aim to help you prepare for the private pilot checkride in under 5 minutes a day. Today's video lesson covers inoperative equipment discovered prior to flight. For those of you who have seen my video over flying with inoperative equipment, this may seem like a review to you. For those of you who have not had a chance to check out my flying with inoperative equipment video, I recommend watching that one before this one. I will use today's video as an opportunity to summarize the information in the video over flying with inoperative equipment, hopefully making the information a little clearer and easier to remember. Without any further delay, let's dive right into what we would do if we were to find inoperative equipment prior to flight. Following FAR 91.213, the first step would be to verify whether or not we have a minimum equipment list applicable to our aircraft. If we do have a minimum equipment list, we generally want to follow the procedure listed within. If we do not have a minimum equipment list, as will be the case with most private pilot applicants, we will want to verify that the inoperative piece of equipment is not required by any of the four sources listed below. To help us remember the four sources, we'll use the acronym CART, like Mario Kart. Kinds of Operational Equipment List found in the Aircraft's Operating Handbook, Airworthiness Directives, Regulations, including FAR 91205 and any other applicable to flight, and finally, the Type Certificate Data Sheet or any Supplemental Type Certificates for the aircraft. If the piece of equipment is required by any one of these four sources, the aircraft will be considered unairworthy and operations would need to be conducted under a special flight permit. If the item is not required by any of these four sources, the pilot must then discard or deactivate the inoperative equipment, placard both the inoperative equipment or instrument as well as the cockpit control for that instrument or equipment as inoperative. Any maintenance required must be recorded. After performing these steps, the aircraft is considered airworthy. The very last step before blasting off is for the pilot in command to deem the aircraft safe to operate. This concludes today's discussion of inoperative equipment discovered prior to flight. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, I hope you'll consider liking it. I'd love to hear any feedback in the comments section. If you're new to my videos, subscribe to keep track of any new additions. And if you know somebody else who may benefit from this video, I hope that you'll share with them. Safe flying.